Hello and welcome to Bethany's Kitchen and Garden. I have been on holiday for a week and the garden has gone bonkers. I was just in the middle of doing a harvest because of course my courgettes have now grown into marrows and other things have um, sort of like got away a bit. So I wanted to do a harvest as soon as possible and it's just started to rain. So I'm going to take the harvest in the house and process it. But I wanted to show you, you guys what I had before I did it. Here is the harvest so far. I'll just go in a bit closer. Here I've got three market more cucumbers. This one grew a very funny shape, but the other ones are your normal sort of shape. I got four gherkins here so I can process them. These are the first of the sweet million tomatoes from the greenhouse. I was really pleased to come back and find that they had eventually ripened. These are tomatoes from um, the tumbling toms that I've grown outside. So there's a few of them. Then we had the inevitable courgettes that have just grown a bit too much, but um, well, we'll be eating courgettes for the rest of the week. Uh, there's five plums off one of my plum trees. That's all I'll be getting off that plum tree because there doesn't seem to be any more plums there. More courgettes underneath those plums. These carrots, they are early nants and they are from a pot. So that is almost all a pot. Um, so I was really pleased with them. This is, what is this? This is a, my first Beth Alpha cucumber. Uh, so I'm not sure how that will taste, but hopefully it'll be nice. Some spring onions there from the veg truck at the front. Then I've got five, is it five? Yes, five space saver cucumbers from the front garden as well. Then I've got purple beetroot, mixed beetroot, so that's orange and the one that's sort of pink and white in the middle, which is really sweet and lovely for a leaf. Got three kohlrabi. This kohlrabi has grown very big. I should have harvested that way before now, but we weren't going to eat it before we went on holiday, so there was no point. Um, normally they're more that size. But there's three ones there. Then I've got some yellow um, dwarf French beans. Some of them have grown flat, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. These are my pongo beans from Bill and Val. Thank you very much, Bill and Val. And then I've got some blackberries which I do have more blackberries um, to harvest but um, the rain has, has prevented that. So that is the harvest so far. Well a few days have passed now since I did that initial harvest after coming back from holiday and it's more or less been raining constantly um, which hasn't been great so it's been about five days now and um, I've just got into the garden uh, to harvest some more things which have obviously grown in the five days that I did the first harvest. So I'll show you the bits and pieces I've got and then we'll have a walk around and see what needs doing because there's an awful lot that looks like it's, um, it's in need of sorting out. So um, I'm not really sure where to begin. So let's have a little look and um, we'll just start in one place and hopefully we'll go from there. The first job I thought I'd start with was removing the lower leaves of these Brussels sprout plants. So I have got some plants forming here, um, but I should really have taken some leaves off a long time ago. They might have been a bit further on now than they are at the moment. And I even found I had this cauliflower, which um, well, it's not looking very good. It's got all brown patches on it, so I don't want to be eating that, but I am going to take it out. Um, as soon as I take the, the cover off this, the 
cabbage whites come in. Now, what I need to do is I need to know whether I'm meant to take the heads off the tops of these plants, which will then make the sprouts grow, or do the sprouts grow and then you take the heads off. I can't remember which way round it is, um, but I could really do with trimming these sprout tops because they're just getting too big for this frame, to be honest. I didn't expect them to grow this big. Um, I've not usually had this much success with sprouts before. But anyway, I'll remove this cauliflower and um, get this netted back over. One thing I haven't shown you guys for ages is the compost heap behind my garden where I, um, I planted the squashes. It's a bit it's a bit of a mission to get through now. I need to come, well, my husband needs to come with a strimmer and strim all this while I work on the actual garden. So I can't even get it all in shot. Here is four more or less squash plants in some way, shape or form. And let me show you this, if I can get the leaves out of the way. This is meant to be a tromboncino squash. So they are meant to cool, cool around. I, I can harvest this now, it's, it's a courgette essentially, but I think you can leave it um, as, a, as a, a squash to have over the winter as well. But I, I'm not sure about that, but I'll be harvesting that, I think. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. It's looking more butternut squash, like like in, in the um, the feel and the... Um, sorry, I'm just getting stung now. Um, in feel and sort of uh, hardness of it, I suppose. So I don't know, maybe I should leave that. Uh, Let's see what else. So, that's a, see, I think that big one is stopping all these other ones, I've got one up there as well, from actually growing now. So I think maybe I should take that one. I have got a butternut squash in here somewhere. See that one there? I can't even reach. So that, I think that is a butternut squash, like right there. Because the, the vines have gone everywhere now, I can't really see what's what. Oh la la. Ugh. Right. So. Oh well, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this one because I think it's... Uh, it's affecting that other plant. I'm pretty sure it belongs to the tromboncino plant. Well, if nothing else, I know that growing on a compost heap really does work. So next year, I might just grow two squash plants or two courgette plants on my compost heaps, and that'll be it. So, and here's the second harvest of this week. I've got more blackberries. Some of these blackberries are absolutely huge. They're really, really big. And sadly though, a lot of them have just um, gone over on, on the plant because I needed to plant them early. The first harvest of raspberries this year, and these are a decent size as well. Um, yeah, these are really good. Uh, snack peppers from the greenhouse. I mean, talk about snack. My uh, might be alright for my daughter, but they wouldn't fill me very much. Uh, some rogue strawberries. I just noticed we had some strawberries. The first picking of runner beans. I just took them because they're very big. Um, and I thought they might stop the plants from producing. I don't tend to eat runners very much. I, I prefer the French beans, but I like to grow the runners for uh, beans. In, for drying beans in the winter. Um, there's that huge tromboncino or butternut squash that's grown weird. I don't know what it is, but as if we don't need any more cosetti type things at the moment. First of the Mamand, they're looking good. Uh, first of the 
what I think is Brad's Atomic. And then there's, this should be Gardener's Delight, but it's yellow, which is confusing me. Um, Sweet Million. And then these are the Tumbling Toms. Then more courgettes from the other compost heap. And these are Cobra French beans. But again, these should have been picked the other day when I did my picking, but it just started to rain. So I didn't, but they've gone over now. They will be tough and not very nice. So not quite sure what I'll do with them. This is the next area I need to focus on. I have my Kent blue peas from Bill and Val. They've all dried on the plant now. So I need to take them down, take the plants out, remove some of this borage because even though it's lovely for pollinators, there's just a bit too much of it. So I'll get this area cleared now. I've cleared this area now. It's only taken me about five days because um, it's rained ever since I started. And I was going to put some of my multi sown spinach in this area. But when I went to get it, I noticed that it has bolted yet again. This is the third or maybe fourth time I've tried to grow spinach over the last few months and it just keeps bolting. I've got some spring onions here, some pak choy there and some carrot, uh, cabbage and cauliflower at the end. But I'm now going to plant my lettuce in here instead. So I'm going to separate these plants from there um, as I've, as I've multi-sowed them in that pot and I shall pop them directly into this bed here. Normally I grow my nonna's transplants but um, I haven't done this time and we'll just see how they get on that way. And another job I've got to do is to fill the rest of this bed with compost. So I made this bed a few uh, weeks ago and the level has dropped a lot because it was up to the top of um, of the bed and you can see it's dropped about two or three inches now. So I'm going to get some fresh compost in here. It'll be shop bought compost because I haven't got any homemade and top up this other bed too and get the plants in there. So I've got this bed planted up now. We've got the Apache in the back then the spring onions next and then Celtis at the front. I've never grown Celtis before, so I'm not really sure what it, what it is like, but I should like it because I like celery and lettuce. And over here, we've got a little gem in this big bed here, and or tall bed, I should say. And then we've got the Celtis and Apache interplanted with the spring onions. So hopefully they will do well in this new position. The last job I want to get done on this vlog is to tidy up this front bit of my um, front garden. So I've got lemon balm here, which needs drastically cutting back. I've got um, pipes that need just to go back in their places. I've got cucumber, you going through love? Mm -hmm. I've got cucumber that I need to take some of the leaves off because they're looking a bit yellow. And then I've got a lot of weeding to do around here and I need to take out that lemon balm and then I need to take out the peas that have gone over here and the lettuce that's gone over here and I'm going to plant carrots um, in here. It's a bit late, it is August, but I'm going to plant those Paris ones, the, the round ones that don't grow very well. I need to harvest these. These are I think they had Red Baron um, that my neighbour gave me from sets. And then the rest of these are the cut and come again leaves, uh, lettuce leaves that didn't really work for me. They were, I only had one harvest from each pot. So that was no good. That didn't work for me. So I'll get on and get this done. And I'll show you what I've got when it's done. Very pleased to report I have finished this area. So um, we won't go any further than this greenhouse because then you see the messy area. Oh, oh, there we are, there's the messy area. Um, this used to be another mini greenhouse that was ideal for seedlings, but it got uh, destroyed in some storms. So I keep meaning to rebuild it and it'll sit in there eventually, but I haven't got around to doing that. However, what I have got around to doing 
it's taken off some of the leaves on this cucumber plant I potted on the chilies into five litre containers now because they were in uh, a 2.5 litre container so this is basket of fire this side and um, can anyone tell me a basket of fire is actually edible because it said on the label it was ornamental and I kind of wanted to eat them essentially but um these ones are KN so they're they're looking good I'll harvest some of them and then hopefully where they've gone into a, a bigger pot we'll um we'll get a bit more of a bigger plant and therefore bigger fruit my lemon balm down here when I cut away all that big straggly growth we've got some healthy growth here um, lemon balm just sort of sees to itself it, it grows in very poor soil so well I assume so because I haven't done anything with it for the last um, year or so but it's still going strong so I must get around to try in lemon balm tea and then over here I harvested some red onions these are not a bad not a bad size red onion uh, there's how many there's six there so that's quite good then I sowed some uh, carrots in here the um, the Paris market Atlas variety I've just put some ready to harvest carrots there just sort of to fill the gap so that it looks like something is growing here and then the same this side there's the uh, sort of uh, Paris market um, like round carrots as it were and there's um, Nantes I think they are and then I I moved the the pot that was at the bottom to the middle shelf simply because I was looking for a shelf and I couldn't find one like I couldn't find a piece of wood long enough so I thought well rather than faff around with cutting I'll just move these up and hopefully they'll um, they'll they won't be too heavy for the supports so I've got three little gem lettuces in there interplanted with some carrots and the same this side three little gem lettuces interplanted with carrots and then on the top here we have uh, those carrots again the Paris uh, market uh, round carrots so nothing to report there because they've only been in there a day so thank you very much for joining me today that's it from me for today and um, all I can say about my work in the garden is lovely job and we shall continue tidying up this front garden in the next vlog